three years while we were doing this movie, I've been asked three questions. Ito yung mga tanong. First, is this really necessary? Is there a re really a need for it? Or is just calm, just bored, or worse, just being whimsical? Did we just wake up one morning and said, enough of our TV shows? By the way, we are producing and so, for the let's aim for the stars. stars. Let's, let's do something that, that would make us famous or popular. popular. Saint, Saint Ignatius tells us that the Jesuit goes where there is a greater need. That applies to this project and every project that just come does. For the, For the past many, many years, years, our schools have been bugging us about new materials on the life of our founder, Ignatius of Loyola. Apparently, what is being shown in freshman orientation days is a 1949 black and white Spanish but dubbed into English film. How sad and ironic, especially in this so-called digital age. And during, and during the time of the first Jesuit Pope, Pope Francis, there are existing docudramas on the life of Ignatius from the US, but these are not feature films. Being talkies, they do not seem to appeal to the young. It is therefore very clear to us, friends, why we are doing this film. The inspiring story of Ignatius must be retold again at our time and especially for our youth. Second, why this meet you? That's the second question. Why a film? Ang mahal mahal ng pelikula. What can it do? What impact can it have? To this set of questions, I say, thank God for General Luna. Talk of impact. The impact of a film. Not only has the film earned more than 240 million pesos, of course, that's not our goal. <laughs> but the film, Enera Luna, has revived interest in history, not just in schools, but more importantly, in the general public. Even today, after months of its release, Radio and TV shows are still talking about the film and letting it mirror the sad plight of our country. Payan o sarili, Enera Luna's quote in the movie has now been tweeted, quoted a thousand times. On a personal note, I became a Jesuit because of many inspirations, admittedly and abashedly among them, I was inspired by two movies involving Jesuits. First is The Mission, and second is Romero. I don't know if you're familiar with these movies. I am sure you can also relate to that. I am sure movies have inspired your life. That is why there are classics like The Ten Commandments. Nandito po si Bishop. Favorito ni Bishop. Ang Ten Commandments. Jesus of Nazareth. Or on a secular note, Star Wars, E.T. the Godfather. Movies have that power upon us. Stories inspire us. Visuals and visions change us. We learn that from Jesus Christ himself, the greatest of communicators, the very word of God. He simply told us parables and stories and shared with us the wonderful vision of the kingdom of God and yet a faith, a religion, a church, a holy people has followed him because of that. People say we would rather give to construction of buildings because they tend to last. But movies, stories, ideas endure forever. Finally, the last question, can you do it? Small time now for of Jesscom. You think Jesscom, because of this production, is very big? We're just 
16 people in a corner at the Ateneo de Manila University. So the question was, can you do it? 50 million is the cost so far of this film. That is math a joke. The most expensive project we have ever done before this was Marilu Diaz Abayas Telemovie Maging Akin Muli which cost us 5 million pesos. At that time, nakaaway-away na po kami, ano? Dahil lang sa 5 million. But 50 million for Ignacio, that is a huge leap. But naively, perhaps, we have faith in God's people. First, there is our production people, actors, writers, directors, who have agreed to work on a very tight budget. Nandiyan po sila sa gitna. Please stand up to be recognized. Marami po sa kanila. Hindi pa rin ako pinapakawan dahil napaka-county ng budget namin. Thank you so much. They are very generous. Secondly, there are the initial donors and benefactors. May, nakita niyo na po yung kanilang mga pangalan. Who believe in our cause. Who believe that we need to have quality films, religious films, to educate the public and inspire the world. And of course, we have God behind us. This is really a leap of faith for us. But since the time we started, and uh, the JESCOM team, the production, production team would attest to this. Since the time we started, despite the bumps on the road, we can feel God's hand guiding us. We have many stories of God's providence. Too many to share now, but I believe that that hand has brought us to the happy completion of the film. And so, ladies and gentlemen, today, thanks to all of you, brothers and sisters, we can now say, relax and enjoy the movie. And perhaps, get inspired by Ignacio de Leola. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Father Nono Alfonso.